Hey guys, today I'm going to be helping you get started using Refrag's Recoil Trainer mod. Before we start, if you are brand new to Refrag, make sure you check out our beginner guide to help you get familiar with Refrag and how to use it before we get into the details of this video. So once you are ready, let's get into it. Now, once we load into a Refrag server, we need to get into the Recoil Trainer mod. We can either shoot at the Recoil Trainer text on the wall in the warm-up arena, or we can type dot setup and select option one practice, and then option three recoil, then simply select option one Refrag pregame as the map. Once we load into the map, we are presented with an arena with a bot occupying it. Now, you could simply just practice your spray control on this bot, and doing so will give you some insights into how many bullets you hit into the bot, as well as an overall rating on your spray. You could also switch your gun by using the dot guns command. Here, you can select any weapon that you'd like. I might just select the AK for now. Now, by pressing my use key, which is by default my E key, I can view the spray pattern for my selected gun, and I can move this around by holding down my right click and moving my crosshair. I can disable this feature by simply pressing my E key again. This is really useful if you want to get a visual representation of how your spray should be looking. So obviously this is the very first level of practicing spray control. However, we can take this a level further. First, we need to open the menu for this mod and we can do so by typing dot menu. One of my favorite features of recoil trainer is the slow-mo option. Accessing this menu allows us to slow down our spray, which allows us to better understand how we can control our spray and adjust it. So by adjusting my slow-mo speed to let's just say 0.5, which would be equivalent to 50% speed, I can better understand where each of my bullets is going. I can also set automatic slow-mo to on, which will enable the slow-mo feature as soon as I start spraying. If I want to disable this, I can simply select off instead. I can also just make the game slow-mo regardless of whether or not I am shooting by selecting option one in the slow-mo menu. Obviously, I can stop this as well by selecting option two, stop. Moving on from this, obviously shooting a single bot can be nice and all, but what if I want a bit more intensive practice? Well, this is where option four from our main menu comes in. Selecting this option allows us to select two different game modes, one being spray control and the second being spray transfer. Underneath this, we also have a range option. We can select either close, medium, long or mixed, which would be a combination of all the ranges. And this will change the distance between us and the bots we are shooting. For now, I'm gonna go with mixed since I'll get a variety of different ranges. So with my game type set to spray control and my range set to mixed, I can also now select option one start to begin playing this specific game type. As you can see, I begin to fight bots at different ranges and for these bots, it will take a varying amount of bullets to kill them. So the idea is to just keep spraying until the bot dies and then another one spawns. Once I feel like I've killed enough bots, I can type dot stop, which will stop the training. This will also print out some of my statistics from the session in the text chat. Next, I wanna practice my spray transfer. So I will change my game type to spray transfer. I'll get started playing the game mode by typing .s in text chat. And this game mode is super useful as I can practice transferring my spray between at least two bots or even more if I would like. This is an essential skill to have as there are a ton of situations where you may have to spray transfer and practicing the skill also helps with just spraying in general even if it's just a single enemy. Now, of course, when I type dot stop, I can view some statistics from my session again. And now moving on to the last thing I want to cover here, if we head into our main menu again, we can select option eight, next, and then option one, gameplay settings. In this menu are a bunch of options that you may want to adjust. And this level of customization is super useful to practice the spray the way you want to. So for example, you can disable impacts to get a more realistic view on how you're going to be shooting. And once you get your spray to a good enough level, something that I like to recommend is hopping into a crossfire section and practicing your spray transfers and normal spray control in a more game realistic environment. So hopefully this helps you get started with Refrag's recoil trainer mod. Thanks for watching and peace out.